Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Neko Buso Tenko Mori. So if you guys have been on the internet lately, you may have seen some stuff about this Neko Buso line that uh, was announced, I think, earlier on the beginning of the year. I think this is like the basic set, like the basic one, the Tenko Mori set. And then there's other option sets, then there's another new set coming out with like the cat is riding inside this kind of like Tyrannosaur mecha kind of thing. It's it's weird, it's very Japanese. It's just this little cat figure and all these other little parts here that you can build into different things, tanks sort of things and all of that. Uh, and so it's meant to just be a kind of fun little toy that you can play around with. I like how for like the cannons and stuff here on the tank, it's got ones like shooting out like party confetti and the other ones are shooting out bubbles and water. So it's just meant to be a very playful thing, very uh, orientated towards kids, but I've, def I've definitely seen some really cool uh, painted up builds of this on Twitter like some just like uh, modelers building it up and painting it up like with actual like tank painting style anyway, pretty interesting I, I want to say thank you once again to Japan Toys Australia uh, for sending this to me that was very cool of them this is of course something very strange and unique so I'm uh, happy to get the chance to check it out so thank you to them for that the link to their site will be down below if you guys are in Australia uh, do check that out they've got a lot of really cool stuff there on their site so here on the side you can see there's just the cat figure that is included on the other side, just some other different stuff. So it's kind of like the main parts of this is like tank treads, uh, kind of howitzer kind of cannon, uh, sort of helicopter top there it looks like, and this other sort of thing there, I don't know. And then it's got some kind of missile pod looking parts. On the top, we've just got basically kind of the same sort of stuff there. On the bottom, just some businessy stuff. It doesn't give you the list price. Honestly, I don't remember what the list price was for just this main set, but not really all that expensive. Here on the back, again, just more stuff about that. It's all in Japanese, but there's kind of like the four main sections and like the main cat. But then when you put it all together, you can make this or you can make it into many, many different things. It's very wide open. So it is going to be like a actual model kit, sort of. All the parts are just on small little runners here. So you will have to build that up cut those out and build that up. Here's like the cat there is it's all pre-painted. Everything else is not going to be pre-painted though so you will have to paint that if you want. We do have instructions here for if you want to actually follow the instructions otherwise again it's kind of meant to be very customizable so you can mix and match things as you like but if you want to build it exactly how it's meant to be built you can follow the instructions here. Yeah, I don't think I really need to go ahead and show you every single one of these runners here but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this built up and then we'll take a look at it. Alright so it took a while to get everything put together but here is a look once again at the cat very nicely pre-painted there and so we're basically just gonna put everything on this so you have like the main part of that the main shell, which actually fits on better than I thought it would. I mean, it's, it's pretty secure on there. Close that up at the bottom. We're gonna stick these two missile pods here on the side of there. And this piece just goes on the top of there. Then this guy goes on the top of there. And this one over on the opposite side, like that. And our cat's getting definitely even more heavily armed now. One more gun stuck on the top of there. Then we're gonna stick this whole thing down onto our kind of tank treads. And this part stuck on this side and this opposite part stuck on this other side with this big claw. And there we go. That is uh, pretty ridiculous for sure. So basically as you can see like all the black parts are joints so those will bend. Everything moves around everywhere. It's just all joints and pegs and all of that so you can move stuff around all over the place and mix and match. It's all universal in size and all of that. So I feel like this is something that like in order to really kind of appreciate you'll have to spend a lot of time with it just mixing and matching stuff just exploring just on your own just trying some different or uh, combinations of things seeing what looks cool what looks uh, interesting for you but there is Nekobuso Tenko Mori what do you guys think about this it's pretty interesting it definitely seems like uh, a candy toy which I believe it is I know like this set is a little bit larger but like the booster sets for it, which come with like different parts and things like that I believe are just regular candy toys uh, but anyway, yeah, it's 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 interesting. I can definitely see how like doing some work on this, cleaning it up, painting it up, and like uh, giving it some proper work could definitely make it look a lot more cool. As it is, it definitely looks very novelty. And I again, I think you really need to just spend some time with it, just mixing and matching parts on your own, and just 
uh, making some cool combinations. That's probably going to be the most fun aspect of this, is just kind of keeping it around and just playing with it now and then, just uh, mixing around some parts, taking some photos of that whenever you're like, making some work in progress photos on your Gumpler or something like that. Just stick a weird tank cap model thing in the background is just uh, something cool to have around in your workspace. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Neko Buso. I don't know. I don't think I'm really going to get too many more of these just because it's just kind of this weird, fun little thing. But you guys plan on collecting these? Do you Have you already started? And have you been able to come up with some really cool combinations for yours? Let me know what you think down in the comment section there below. Hopefully this simple review has been helpful for you guys if you are looking to see a little bit more about this line. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>